family um, work to do. And so she can't be here today. So she asked me to teach the class today. And I, I'm used to of a more interactive kind of Zoom meeting. So if, if anyone wants to turn their sound off on, they can, or their uh, visual on, they can, but that's totally up to you. Um, I teach at the, hello, <laughs> I teach um, through community ed at the Minneapolis Public Schools, and I used to teach quite a bit at um, Natural Step School, which is how I know Debbie. So uh, I teach Tai Chi, Qigong, and self-massage, which is called Twina. So we're gonna start with some self-massage. So it'd be nice if everyone was in a chair and that they could see me um, for this. And we'll just go through that and then we'll do some Qigong. And I think we'll have more than enough to do and if you have any questions or you want to stop me, whatever, uh, that's fine. So I'm taking my glasses off and I'm just going to take my thumbs and I'm going to rub my temples in a circular way. And I'm just resting my fingertips on my forehead and I'm going around in circles, pressing with my thumbs into my temples. It doesn't matter which direction you go in. Now I'm gonna take my hands in an L position and my thumbs are gonna go behind my ear and my fingers are gonna massage my forehead. So I'm crossing my forehead with my index fingers and then I'm going back to my ear behind my ear and up to my forehead. And I'm pressing pretty hard with my hands. This is a gift you give yourself, the self-massage. You do not need to get anything. You don't need facial surgery or anything. You just need to get some more blood moving into your face and it'll feel really good. So now I'm going to um, use my palms and I'm going to have them against my ears and I'm going to bring my palms forward while I press and my two pinkies are going to end up on top of my nose and I'm going to massage under my eyebrows as I go. So I'm squishing my cheeks together and then going back to my ears pressing my fingertips under my eyebrows. So we're doing that. This is the third time really slow till you get a feel for it. And then after you've gotten a feel for it, we're gonna do it five times really fast. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that'll get your blood moving. <laughs> So now I'm gonna take my knuckles of my thumbs and I'm gonna have them under my nose and I'm gonna rub up along my face, along my nose, the side of my nose, up into my forehead. So I start here, with these knuckles. Nice. I'm going to take my two fingers and put them one on top of the other. It's just so I have more pressure and I'm going to circle my mouth pressing. This is really great. Help your smile muscles. If you're wearing a mask all day, this will release the tension in that part of your face. I go five times one way, five times the other way, just because it feels so good. Nice. Now just chatter your teeth and circle with your tongue 
around the outside of your teeth, going both directions. And then I just do some eye rolls. I look up to the side, down, in nice circles. This has really increased my peripheral vision when driving. I've just noticed, then I go the other direction. I just notice things in my side vision a lot more since I've been doing these eye rolls. Great. So that was the head. Now we're going to proceed down other parts of our body. I'm just going to hold my elbow and use my hand to massage the back of my neck and my shoulder. That feels really good. Now do the other side, just hold your elbow, massage your shoulder. Great. Now we're just gonna slap all the way down the top of our arm, lift up all the way under our arm, and we can um, punch right here. Some people like to grab, because this is your heart meridian right in here. That's where it starts. And that's really, really helpful. And I like to massage each finger, starting with the outside edge and then the top. So I make sure I include the knuckle when I do the top. And if you have any injuries, or issues with anything, you know your body better than anyone else. So just because the teacher tells you to do something, <laughs> don't do it if it hurts you, obviously. <laughs> okay, so now let's do the other hand and arm. Slapping all the way up, underneath, punching, grabbing and then you massage around the outside. You can do this waiting in line at the post office. You know, they don't think you're crazy if you do this kind of thing. Just um, keep your body fit, keep the blood moving. Great. And then I just bring my wrists together Bring the side of my pinkies together and then I just rub my wrist gently and here. Great. And now we're just going to rub down our center of our body just a few times. And now we're gonna um, put our hands together like this, and we're gonna go in a circular motion in our abdomen. There's a lot of people in China that just have digestion issues and they just go to the Twina clinic and they just have someone rub their abdomen in a circular fashion for 15 minutes and they're fine. So this is a really, really good self-massage if you are having any kind of digestion issues. You can do it more um, than we're doing it, but nice. Okay, so knees, there's two little indents. They call them calves eyes, like the animal, a calf or a cow. You can press on them like this, or you can grab whatever, however your hand strength is. And you just do that a few times and then rub. There is not any body fat at all uh, on your knee. So you wanna warm it up as often as possible. And then I'm gonna take my finger on the other side of my knee in the center and I'm just gonna poke. 
So where the knee creases on the back side, just poke it. And then three, three lengths of your hand from the top of the kneecap, just start pressing on the sides. So it's very hard for me to show you that, but you can measure yourself because each person's body is different. And then just press. This is great for your knees. Just a little self work on your knees starting now. And you will not have to have knee surgery later in life. Won't that be nice? Okay, press on the calves, uh, the, the calves eyes, they call them. Warm it up. And then we're going to poke the back side of the knee. And then three, three, and then press. I have, um, we'll just go along the calf. Now I'm going to skip bottom of the feet for today because we have shoes on, but I will email, I have all your emails, I'll email you the YouTube videos of everything I do today in case you decide you want to do these on your own. Um, and that the YouTube video includes the bottoms of your feet. So I'm just, I've just got my hand on either side of my shin and I'm just working my way down. Great. So that's Twina or self massage. Now we're going to do a little bit of stand up movement. The EG Jing, it's called. I think you can see me both in the mirror and in my Tai Chi space. And I'll do everything with words because. Um, I just have you for this one hour. <laughs> so this is called EG Jing. And we start with just um, our feet together. Now, I think all of you have had some fundamentals, but just in case, I'll go through this just really quickly. Um, if you take a step when you're walking, you're taking the step and you're moving your weight at the same time. So that's very different than what we do with Tai Chi. With Tai Chi, we take a step and then we move the root across. So um, it's really different than walking. So just to practice that, you shift the root over, say, to the left, take an empty step to the right, and then move the root into the right. Shift the root back to the left, Take an empty step, and now I'm 50-50. So to practice that, you want to make sure that your feet are, um, I'm sorry, your knees are slightly bent. And you want to be uh, shoulder width. So my shoulders and my knees and my feet are lined up. So I'm not doing this out like this, and I'm not doing this really tight. It's almost like there are two railroad tracks here, and I always step along those railroad tracks. So just practice coming to the center, going to the back, shifting the root, shifting the root, coming to the center, going forward. So I'm assuming you've had these fundamentals, but just reminding you of them, okay? So for the EG Jing, we start with our legs, our feet together, our knees slightly bent, and then we open to shoulder width apart. So I shifted my root over, and now I'm 50-50. And I'm just going to arch my back, come up, my hands clasp together, and then I come down. I bring my hands up and out. This is called monk 
presents the pestle. Now I'm going to bring my arms forward and open. And then I'll, instead of grasping in the, the pestle, I'm just going to allow my hands to come down, keeping my shoulders relaxed. I come up the center again, and my palms prop up the heavenly gate three times. One, two, three, looking upwards. And now I bring my gaze forward as my hands come down. Now my right hand is going behind me and my left palm is facing the front. I'm going to turn and sweep down. It doesn't matter how low you go, nobody cares. And then your palms up at the sky. And then you release your right hand, and both palms are up and down. Other side, my hands behind my back, my right hand faces the front. I come across, I sweep down, I come up and up and then down. going to turn to one side. I'm going to step with my right foot and I'm going to switch my root and I'm going to grab these bowls and I'm going to pull them back. And then I'm going to swim with my right hand and push. Come to the other side. Turn, excuse me, take a step. Pull the bowls. You want to swim and push. You can feel stretch coming all the way across here. And come back. So now we're just going to allow our hands to float up and down. We're going to do this three times, gradually getting lower. So the second time we're lower. And the third time, I'm going to let my feet come off the ground. Feel free to hold on to the floor if you need balance. Okay. Our right hands behind our back. We come across the front. Same thing we did before, circle around. But this time, grab your ear, the opposite hand is on your ear and you get a nice twist in the front. Bring your hand down, the other side, come across the front. Now we're going to allow our hands to come up and come behind our head and bring our elbows to the front three times. This is called make deep bows and beat the heavenly drum. And three times down, going lower each time. Allow our hands to float down. Clasp in the front. Keeping our shoulders relaxed, arching our back and looking up. And now three times, gradually going lower. This is called turn the tail and swing the head. Come up, go to the left, just to your waist, then to your knees, 
And finally, as low as you feel like going. Come up, come to your waist, come to your knees, and as low as you feel like going. That's called the EGG. So we've got eight minutes left. Is that what that buzzer is telling me? <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to do the animals now. So uh, we'll start with the tiger. And the tiger is powerful and confident. So think powerful and confident. So when we start, with the whole sequence of animals. We're gonna sink on the right, take an empty step with the left, and now we're equally weighted. We're gonna to go to the sky, to the south, and down. To the sky, to the south, and down. To the sky, to the south. So I'm going to pounce. First, I'm going to I'm going to take my my claws and I'm going to grab them like this, and I'm going to keep keeping my shoulders relaxed. I'm going to come up, relax, and grab again. If your fingers are cold in the winter, just do a few of these, and you will not be cold anymore. Just grab and grab. Last one. And grab. Nice. So we're going to shift our root to the right and we're going to pass. And then we pull our foot in or our paw in this case and pass. Pull our paw in and pass. Pull our paw in and pass. Okay. Now the bear. The bear is perhaps composed and stable. So the bear, we just relax our left shoulder and we roll around our right shoulder. We come back to the center and then we relax our left. We roll around. We just kind of hold our hands in a loose posture. Nice. Okay, and go the other direction. Relax and roll. And the whole time being composed and stable. Now when the bear wants to take a walk, just kind of lumbers. So step out with your right and that same shoulder movement. And step out with your left and roll those shoulders. And whatever happens with your hands, happens with your hands. Don't worry about those. And last one, since I'm about to hit the mirror. <laughs> nice. So the monkey is playful and naughty. So the monkey grabs the fruit, goes up on his toes, and looks to the side, comes back down, grabs the fruit, goes up to his toes, looks to the other side, comes back down. All right, the 
this other monkey is just takes a step back. So shift your root to the left, step back, and look up at the tree. And now I'm going to go up on my toe on my right, like this, to grab the piece of fruit. And then I'm going to look at it. So we'll do that again, but this time on the other side. Shift the root to the right, take a step back, look at the tree. Come up on your toes, on your left toe, grab the fruit, look at the fruit. Take a step back with your right, look up the tree, grab the fruit. And then you're so excited that you have the fruit that you go, just, I'm just making fun of all the other animals and knocking this very good, important pressure point on my little monkey. Okay, bird. I think I'll end with the bird. I usually do the bird and the deer, but we're running out of time. So the bird is joyful and free-spirited. So again, do what your body can do. If you can't lift this leg up like I'm going to do, just bring your leg here, whatever, whatever works for you. So I'm just going to come back have a beak, and then my hands. Forward, I'm 50 50 evenly weighted, and then I'm only on one leg. Back to 50 50 rooted, and now I'm all the way over on the right. Back to 50 50, and all the way over on the left. And the last bird is very simple. You just shift your root to the right and you go up halfway back to 50 50. And then you go all the way up over your head. Other side, halfway, all the way up over your head. Sky, self, earth, sky, self, earth, sky, self, earth. Did I go too fast? <laughs> Feels like I went a little bit fast on that. I thought it was good. Okay. That was good. Okay. So we can do some other things now, if you'd like. Um, I'm not sure which Tai, form, tai Chi form you're working on, so... Um, I will, I guess I could just do some of that, that I, what I've been doing. Um, do you want to, Lois, since you're showing me, do you want to show me a little bit of your Tai Chi form and then I can do it with you? Or what are you, what have you been doing in class? I've been repulsing the monkey. Uh-huh. That, let's see, and beginning Tai Chi and the bow and arrow thing. Okay. So we can do we can do um, we can do some of the individual movements as opposed to the string of movements like waving hands and clouds and stuff like that. Is that is that what you've been working on, uh, or have you been stringing them together? Um, well, we do like repulsing the monkey a few times, and then we do another one. So we do them separately, I guess. Not 
Oh, you do do them separately. I think okay. So. I'm, I'm a beginning person for Tai Chi. I haven't done too much Tai Chi, just with Debbie's class. Okay. All right. So, um, the repulsing monkeys and moving is. Um, it's a really beautiful, beautiful um, practice of stepping backwards. So if, if we pour, um, put all of our root in the right and we take a step to the left and then we're centered, um, we just, there's, let's just do the, the arm, the, the front. So there's this pushing and an opening. So since I teach Tai Chi for healing, I do a really big open movement for this. But of course, if I was teaching Tai Chi for self-defense, you would not want to leave yourself open. You want a tighter thing. So I'm just going to push and a nice big opening. And you look at this hand. And then you look at this hand. So this is a, a great example of how yin becomes yang. So um, yawn is everything that's like, every, everything is a step forward kind of motion. It's all an active kind of thing. That's yawn. And everything yin is sort of more inside, like the palm towards you and inside. That's, so constantly in the form, one is turning into the other. And what's beautiful about this, depending on your personality, uh, you're forced to, to work on the other part. So if your personality is more like a step forward kind of person, then you're always, you're going to step forward, but then you're also going to step back. So you get practice in both of those areas, which, which is the genius that made up this form. What can I say? So with, with repulsed monkeys, we're here. And we're open, we look at this hand, and then our head turns back and we look at this hand. And then we come back, and it's almost like there's this something here that you're pushing away. And then this hand comes back, and you look at it, and you look at this. And again, you're pushing something away. Here, here. And it's really, the movement is really coming from your tantien here. And your arms are more just like scarves in the wind. But really where it's coming from is down here. Okay? So we've got that part, hopefully. And now we'll try to add the steps. So we're going to step back. Come to the T, step back and push, open, open, come to a T and push, open, open. We'll take it the other way. So that's repulse monkeys and waving hands and clouds. One way to practice that is think of, of having little light bulbs here on your hips and you're just going to let's just not worry about the hands just lead with the hip and it's like making a figure of eight it's make making a circle and you come back through the center making another circle back through the center and what you're doing here 
is you're going to feel the bottoms of your feet. I'm going to feel the, the weight or the root circling around. So when I'm here at the outside, I can feel the bottoms of my feet getting massaged around the outside, around the heel, inside, the outside. So that's the movement. It's, it's not um, lifting your arm up, putting it across, lifting your arm up, putting it across. It's really, your arm is just secondary. So now we'll just include one arm. But all of the, all of the movement is coming from here. So the arm comes up and down. Comes across, up, and down. Keeping that nice figure of eight. And when you feel like you've got that, then you can add the other arm. part of doing um, Tai Chi is um, seeing the force. So you see the force coming, but instead of combating that force, you actually encourage it to go by. And this is very useful uh, in life. So maybe someone at work is coming at, at you with some negative thing. Instead of fighting that, you just take their energy and you let it go by. So that's what we're gonna practice right now. So I've got my root in 50-50 and I'm gonna see the force in this upper right hand corner and I'm going to change my root into the back and I'm just gonna allow it to go by. And then my right hand circles forward and my push and open. So we'll try that again. So I'm in the front. I see the force. I follow the force along. I come to the back. I circle around. My roots still in the back, still in the back. Now I shift it to the front. I allow my hands to open. And then you can push if you want. So try the other side. Let's see. See the force. I change the root into the back. My right hand circles around, comes forward. I'm still in the back, still in the back. Now I shift it to the front and open. Back, front. I'm at the diagonal, my roots in the front. I shift the root to the back. I allow the force to go by. My right hand spins up. Now I shift the root to the front and I open. Now I shift the root to the back and I press. Last one for here. Open and press and push. Good. So let's do the EG Jing again. Sink on the right, take an empty step to the left, 
come to the center. Allow your arm back to arch, bring your arms up and clasp. This is called monk presents the passing. Open up and to the side. Come to the center and go out and up. Well, presents the pestle horizontal and down. Bring your arms up the center again. Turn them over. Press three times. One, two, three. Palms prop up by the gate. Put your right hand in the back, your front hand here. Come across and come down and up. Bring it across and up. And pull back the tail of nine bowls. Pull back. Swim and push. Feel the stretch across the front. And come back. Other side. Pull back the tail of my bones. Swim and stretch. Forward, cross the hands, thrust your front out, hold water, and push mountain. And up and down. Right hand behind the back, left hand comes across, circle around. This time you're going to grab your ear on the opposite side of your hand and turn three times. Three body sections drop to the ground. Allow your hands to go up. Small. Go a little lower. And then go as low as you can, taking your heels off the ground. Come up. Blue dragon outstretches his claws. Same first part. Come across. Grab your shoulder and get a twist. Crouching tiger pounces on its prey. One, two, three.
big deep bow to beat the heavenly drum. Turn the tail and swing the head. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Medium. Down to your knees. And then as low as you can go. Come up. Go to the other side. That way. All the way down. That way. And then all the way down. Okay, I think we'll end with the six sound secret. And uh, this is all different organs that are affected by these sounds and these motions. Um, here's a handout on the different things. So the liver, which is here, let's see if you can see me. Yeah, I think you can see. The sound for the liver is sh, sh. So I just hold my hands here, and I just I don't want to really say sh like sh. I want to just allow sh to come out like sh. See that the difference? So, sure. 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 Next one is for the heart, and we're going to reach down and we're going to pick up some water. And we're going to douse it on our heart fire, and we're going to say, Ooh. Ooh. So I'm picking up the water. Putting it on my heart fire, my hands are coming uh, back to back. Uh. Last one. Uh. And now the spleen, which is a very important organ, separates the turbid from the healthy, so it brings all the healthy stuff to your body that needs it and gets rid of the turban. So just go, who, like, who are you? Who, 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 who. And the lungs, so we're just going to go, our thumbs are going to go out, we'll look to one side, 
and then our thumbs are going to come in. And as we do this, we're going to release the sound. Just ask. Kidney back here. You want to warm up your kidneys. That feels good. Forgot to do that on the self massage. They need to do that again. Warm up the kidneys. Let the kidneys come out. And then from here, go around. So it's like I'm saying the word tree, but it's more like tree Take it with a CH. Tree. Tree. The last one is in San John. We just go up. San John, which is the whole body really. So the upper jowl, the middle jowl, the lower jowl. And that's just she. And come down. You just bounce a little bit on your toes. You'll massage kidney one, which is the center of your all of your foot. It's really good to do. So, are there any questions, comments, concerns? I know most of you are muted, so I don't know. Um, it's kind of all I had prepared for today. I went a little faster than normal. Maybe I was a little nervous, so I apologize for that. Um, but anybody want to want to have a question or anything? No. <laughs> Anybody have anything they want to say in the chat? I'll look at there's four things in the chat. Maybe I should look there. Uh, I can hear you. That was great. Thank you. Not too fast. I have to leave. Thank you. My break is over. Thank you. Well, I guess everybody's happy with the class. So <laughs> yeah, it was fun to have something different. Okay. Different, you know. All right. All right. Well, I'll since I have your emails, I'll email you the YouTube. Uh, things in case you want to do any more of this. So it was a pleasure and have a great rest.